Did you know that Nintendo has released multiple educational Mario games? In the 90s, Nintendo released a variety of educational Mario games for the PC, with some of them releasing on their actual consoles. One of these educational titles was called Mario Teaches Typing, which is the game we're going to be talking about in this video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The back of the box says, run, jump, swim, kick, now you're learning to type. Yeah, I don't think that's true, bro, but whatever, let's just get into the game. The game game's title screen looks pretty normal until you see Toad. Oh gosh, what did they do to Toad? He's hideous. You're then greeted by a PNG of Mario, and then you can click your level and begin playing the game. The first thing I noticed is that sun in the top corner. Bro is looking so chill. For each key you type, Mario either hits a block or stomps on a turtle. Although he doesn't really stomp on the turtle in this game, he kind of just touches him. I guess they didn't have the budget to show Mario jumping on a turtle. They don't even look like normal Koopas from Mario. They just look like basic ah turtles. Just slow ah basic turtles, and Mario's murdering them. And even worse, he's murdering them in the name of typing. But that's pretty much all this level is. You just type and stomp or touch turtles and hit the blocks. Although there are other levels. For example, the underwater level. In this level, Luigi is being chased by a dangerous fish, and if you don't type fast enough, he will die. Kinda dark for a kid's game, but that is what's happening, so. In the third level, you're in some sort of castle or something, it's kinda weird. Also, in this one, you're typing full sentences, unlike the other ones where you're just typing letters or very small words. Although the sentences you're typing are very odd. It's a Mario game, so I'd expect you to be typing about, you know, Mario-related stuff, but no, we're typing about the Revolutionary War, what the heck? I don't think kids find that very interesting, to be honest. There's also quicksand in this castle, which I guess would make sense in a desert level, but we're inside a castle, I don't think quicksand can exist there. At the end of each level, Mario will appear in a graduation outfit to tell you how good you did. As you can see, I am very good at typing. The final mode in the game is just a basic practice mode. You're just typing normal sentences about the Revolutionary War again for some reason. With Mario's head up at the top to cheer you on, I guess. Lamest mode in the game, hands down. And that's really all there is to do in Mario Teaches Typing. But apparently, this game was so good, it deserved a sequel. So we got Mario Teaches Typing. Thing. Two. This game introduces the greatest feature of all time, a terrifying 3D Mario head. I'm sure this was like technically impressive at the time, but now it just looks creepy. They updated the menus too, they have some new art now, and it honestly looks terrible. I don't know why they didn't just keep the sprites from the first game, they looked so much better. But honestly, the coolest thing added to this sequel is the cutscenes. Yes, Mario Teaches Typing 2 has cutscenes, and they're as goofy as you can imagine. I think this single frame of Mario will stick in my head for the rest of my life. It's so good I made it my Twitter profile picture. Follow me by the way. But as soon as the cutscenes were over, I realized something. The gameplay in this game is exactly the same as the first one. The new menus, cutscenes, and creepy Mario head are the only new things added. No new levels. This game is less of a sequel and more of an add-on to the original. The cutscenes are still a really cool addition, and the new menus are interesting. The creepy Mario face sucks all around though. I can't, you know, defend him in any way. But overall, this does not earn the title of a sequel. It really is just an add-on. Actually, there was another version of Mario Teaches Typing 1 that was released later on that included the creepy 3D Mario head and the new cutscenes. So really, the only thing this sequel adds is the new menus, and they look like shit. So overall, is Mario Teaches Typing worth playing? Hell no. It's just boring typing nonsense. The cutscenes are kind of funny, though. Sonic Schoolhouse seemed like it was a much better, you know, game because it was actually actually, you know, a game. It played like a game. The back of the box really does speak facts. But still, the game was pretty goofy and fun enough to talk about for a video. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Of course, more videos coming soon. Check out my Sonic Schoolhouse video. That one was pretty funny, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.